We got ramen, vampires, and stalkers. Are you ready for a vitamin rich sticky cake crunch? Stick! November 2nd saw the release of Jay Park's Girlfriend. It's a head bobbing rap slash R&B style love song, which mixes a light hearted piano hook with a heavy hip hop beat. We're happy to see that this video is much better quality than his last video, Demon, which had some cheesy effects. More importantly though, we're happy that Jay Park finally gets some action. In Abandon, he starts crying to a hot girl in his room, while in Demon, he lectures a sexy hot girl that literally falls from the ceiling into his bed. In Girlfriend, Jay Park finally gets a first base with a girl, but we thought his method of getting there was a little bit creepy. That's right, I said it, creepy. Admit it. If Jay Park wasn't good looking, wouldn't you be totally creeped out if you found that a guy was taking secret pictures of you and hanging them on his wall? If this was a fat hairy dude, you'd be like, oh my god, this is a stalker. But if it's a hot Asian boy, you're like, oh my god, it's so endearing. No. No! Behave yourself! It's creepy and it's wrong! Speaking of those secret photos, did anyone else notice that every single photo he took of her is freaking hot? Not a single bad angle to see. No herp derping. Maybe that's why she's being photo stalked, because she looks so good. That makes me feel quite safe, knowing that if I had a photo stalker, they'd probably quit photo stalking me after the first secret photo shoot. saw the release of Rainia's Pop Pop Pop. Yep, three pops, not one, not two, but three. Pop 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 is a dance heavy song with a really uppity beat. With its lollipop-esque synth chorus, it's a shame that this song isn't getting more airplay because it's actually quite catchy. We didn't get a chance to talk about Rainia's first video, Dr. Feelgood, which was pretty awesome. And by awesome, I mean raunchy. And though Rainia toned it down a bit for this video, it's still inappropriate enough for you to feel awkward talking about. The highlight of this video is really the dance, where they squat down, spread their knees apart as far as possible, expose their barely covered crotches, hold a big long rod, and do a sexy squat walk towards the camera. Very subtle, isn't it? Time for me to ruin it for you! You thought Rainia was sexy? Well take a look at this. Oh, oh yeah, squatting with my sword, knee joints. Ooh, that's so nasty. But if that dance is too hard to imitate, then you could always just show your butt and slap it three times. Definitely a classic. Last on our list is Classy's How We Feel featuring Solong of 2AM. Oh my god, I can't even joke about this song. There's nothing I could say about this apart from, oh my god, I fucking love this song. Yeah. It's that good that I just dropped the F-bomb. We're not really potty mouth here on Eat Your Kimchi. We like to keep our humor clean. <laughs> huh? GYP! Well, most of the time. But we don't swear. This song though is so awesome that I swore. Now, we'd really like to take the time here to tell you to check it out. We really don't hear a lot of music like this when it comes to K-pop, cause this fits more like into glitch pop with a bit of 8-bit feel to it. A lot of K-pop is very booming and maximalistic, so it's great to hear some smooth, cool Korean indie electronic. Salong's vocals are a perfect fit for Classy's production, and it's nice to see him in the spotlight since it's usually Joe Kwan who's a high of 2 a.m. This video though was, um, weird? Sulong is a freaky robot, and there's some random Caucasian girl showing her boobs with X's over the nipples. And there's lots of copies of her, so there's lots of boobs. So that makes this video awesome. Man, I'm all pumped up! Stick around for November K Crunch Part 2, the drama review.